Hi you guys, it's day four. I hope you can hear this. It's very loud out here, but we've come to Bouvet, which is like a French uh, cafe, very, very popular. So we're in line to get a table and I'm very excited. I can't wait. I'm 1 million percent getting French toast this morning, but I'll show you that whenever I get it. My God, look at this. Are you yeah. joking? So we got, I forgot the name of it. Like, pom, 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 This is insane. Stunning, beautiful. I love it. All right, you guys, we have finished at Bouvet, and it was so good, it was awesome. I definitely recommend if you're taking a trip to New York. Now, we are headed to this boba place. It's also very popular, it's called The Alley, and it was only like a 20 minute walk from Bouvet, so that's what we're going to be going to now, and I'm very excited for that because I see The Alley like on Instagram all the time, and I see people um, with their drinks and posting about it. So I'm very excited, but I will show you when we get to there and then I'm not sure what else we're gonna be doing today. Wow, it's very bright. Sorry about that, it got very, very bright. Um, but I don't know what we're gonna do today. I think for lunch, I wanna go to this place called Kazunori and it's very, very good. It's like a hand roll sushi bar. We were gonna go to Le Pavillon tonight for dinner because we have the summit tonight, which is very fun. But uh, we were gonna go to Le Pavillon for dinner, but I don't know man, I don't know if I want to do that anymore. It seems very expensive and I think I'm just happy with going to the Kazu Nori place for lunch and then maybe going to like Little Italy for dinner and getting like some authentic pasta or something. Sounds very nice. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pasta. Absolutely. Very good. You just said pasta. Pasta. So, man, a few words. <laughs> I found it. Let's go inside. I hope they're open. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, is that it? Oh, this is it. Oopsie. All right, I got my tea from the alley. I got the passion fruit green tea. It's got boba, and I think it's like passion fruit pieces in here. It's super good. Like, I'm really into it. I like it a lot. We now found out that we are in East Village. We walked all the way from Greenwich to East Village and um, the guy at the alley place said that there's a lot of Japanese uh, speaking people in this area, like Japanese people. So uh, we're looking for some restaurants like that so Raph can speak to them in Japanese. So I'm very excited. We're gonna walk around and I think we might go back to the hotel for a bit because I think Raph needs to work on some stuff and I need to post my video. So yeah, but I'll keep you posted. You guys, we've come into this adorable little Japanese store. I don't know what you would actually call this. Would it be like a, um, oh, I don't know. It's like a little store. It's so cute though. This makes me feel like I could be in Japan. Look how cute. I'm obsessed. It's got like skincare, makeup stuff. Everything, everything is so colorful. putting this in because I said that I would talk about Kazunori 
when I ate at it, but I forgot to talk about it and it's been like two days after that. So I just not thought about it and I wanna put go ahead and put it in here. I've heard so many good things about Kazunori and I will say it was a good experience. It was really great. I just don't know if it's for me. <laughs> I don't know, I love sushi, like I really do. But maybe what I like isn't typical like Japanese sushi, maybe it's just like Americanized Japanese sushi, which I hate to say, I don't know, because it was very raw, which I know this sushi is meant to be raw, but like Ralph told me that like when you get the piece of rice with like the raw fish on top, that is like actual Japanese sushi, but the kind that we get back home, that's like the rolls, like the California roll and the- Yeah, California roll is not Japanese. No, no, no. But the no. rolls can be. Yeah. Um, but the quality at Kazunori was phenomenal. It was great. Um, it was just, even for me, I think a little too raw. I don't maybe, know. Maybe it's the texture that you didn't like. Yeah. I think it's the texture. But the rice was great and the, uh, maybe it was just because there wasn't anything else in it. Like it was just rice and fish. There wasn't anything else. Like there wasn't any kind of like, I don't know, vegetable. Or anyways, I, if I get the chance, like if someone took me back there, I would definitely eat it again. But like, I don't think that I would go out of my way to go there again, but it's still really good. Thought I would just throw that in here. We've come into this park. It's super cute. And I feel like I should know the name of this park, but I definitely don't. It's really close to Broadway. And I think we were here yesterday, but now Kazunori was really close to it. And we've stumbled back into this here. But look how cute! It's a really nice park. Babe, I think tomorrow we should go to Brooklyn. Yeah? Yeah? I think tomorrow we should do a day in Brooklyn. Are you sure? I don't mind. I don't know, where are we going? Well, let's go to that one. Sure. <laughs> Whoa! We traveled by flu powder. Diagon Alley. Remember what freaking Harry says, Diagon Alley. Yeah. And gets it all kinds of wrong. We are now on the way to one of the best tourist attractions and we're going to the summit. I'm very excited about that. So we should be there very soon and I will let you know when we get there. Okay, hi, we've made it to the summit area and what I was saying in the taxi is yes, we're going to the summit. I changed outfit. 
Here's what I'm wearing. Can you point it down a little bit? Okay, I've got on my pants from Mama Studio. I've got this top on from White Fox and then my black blazer in my bag. And this is gonna be so great. Guys, we are at the top of the summit now. We're in the bar area and we have our drink. I got a margarita and he got a pear teeny. And this is our little table booth. Not booth, it's like a bar top kind of area. And we have this amazing, beautiful view. And this is probably the latest that I've been out so far. It's currently 8.15. This has been such an experience. It's been so cool. Um, it's beautiful in here. It's amazing. And the cocktails are very, very good. They also have food. They have um, very fancy ice cream, like, like gelato. Yeah. Um, I don't think he's interested. But yeah, we're just going to hang out here. And I'll let you know when we get home. I hope the music is not copyrighted. But yeah. All right, hello you guys, good morning. It's actually the next day, but I wanted to show you something that I forgot to show that's gonna be included in, I believe, day three and four's vlog um, because we went to the Harry Potter world thing in Manhattan and I forgot to show that. We went to Harry Potter world, or like, I don't know what it's called, Harry Potter New York. It's the official store at 935 Broadway, and I did pick up a couple things. Actually, Raph was so sweet, and he got these for me because the day that we went was the day before my birthday, I think, or I was like, I don't know, it was very close to my birthday. These two things that we got, these were only like $5 a piece, but I really wanted to get these to frame them. Look, this one is, look, Chocolate Frog and Dumbledore. He disappears and reappears. How cool is that? And then this one is a actual original replica. Platform nine and three quarters. Anyways, and I got Zeets. Can you guess whose wand this is? I feel like if any, like it's probably very clear whose wand I got. Let me push you down over here. Okay, now that's better. Um, okay. So, it's probably pretty, pretty clear which wand I got, of course, and it was actually between 
uh, this one and one that is used by Serafina Pickery's wand. I really, really like Serafina's wand. I've only seen the Fantastic Beasts like once. I haven't like watched them as much as I did Harry Potter, but I like the pink part at the end. It's, it's kind of cool. But then I was like, you know what? I need to just keep it with the originals, keep it with the three that I have. Or keep it with the original three. Look at this. I really hope it's focused. It is so beautiful. And you won't believe, I really like looked for a good one. But this one looks dark. It looks so pretty. And the wood looks really, really nice. But yeah, I got Hermione's wand. And it's very, very cute. I You could got it personalized, but I don't know. I didn't really want to do that, but. Good morning, everyone. It is day five in New York, and we are going to Brooklyn this morning because we are wanting to go, to, well, I'm wanting to go. He's just kind of going because I want to go. Today's my birthday. Today's June 7th, and I want to go to this coffee shop called Arabica. And apparently it has like coffee beans from all over the world. So very excited about that. And then we might just kind of look around Brooklyn. Apparently Dumbo is a very, very popular area. So we're going to look around that and hang out. It's our first time in Brooklyn. And then we have tickets for the Met later on today. We have a pretty busy last three days. So today we have the Met. And then tomorrow we have the Museum of Natural History. And then Thursday we have the Zoo. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for the zoo. I'll do a quick little outfit of the day for you. It's not super fascinating. Honestly, I'm just wearing a white tank top right here. I've got my cute little jeans from my accents on. And these have little tigers, little lightning bolts, and little flowers. Very, very cute. And then today, I think I'm going to take my mulberry bag. Just kind of... I don't know, this kind of looks like a very New York kind of boho outfit, so I feel like this bag would work. And then I'll just wear my little cardigan there. But yeah, it's a very cute outfit, I think. It's very fun, very light. So that's what I think of when I think of Brooklyn. <laughs> I think of just like, I don't know, really cute stuff. So I'll take you with me today. We're gonna have a great time. And yeah, I'll see you next time I open the camera. <laughs> We've made it to Brooklyn, you guys. We're on our way to the Arabica place, but it says it's like a five minutes walk now, but this is cute. I found it. There it is, and look at that. All right, you guys, we made it to the Arabica, the Arabica place, and I'm so dumb. I meant, I took pictures and videos on my phone, but I forgot to take it for here, but I got my coffee. And Rap got the same thing, and it was so good. And we also got half a uh, chocolate croissant. Pastry, yeah. yeah. And it was great, but the view here is really, really nice. We met a couple of Italian ladies as well, and Raph spoke to them, and it was very sweet. And now we're going to this place called Grimaldi's, which is another super famous Italian pizza place here. We've had pizza for three days straight. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, anyways, so for this coffee, I got, um, they're so nice here. They gave me a suggestion, is that if it's your first time here, then I recommend the Spanish coffee and um, I got it cold this time. It's my first time getting a cold coffee. So yeah, well not my first time, but my first time so far since being here. But yeah, it was great. It was very, very good. I definitely want to come back here and like get another one later on. But yeah, right now we're going to head to Grimaldi's and try the pizza there because
on Yahoo. Yeah. Yeah. It is a Mexican restaurant, and this is the queso. Look how crazy this is. I thought it was just gonna be like regular queso, but it's so, so good. And then you've got the chips there, and then guacamole, and then I got tacos, margarita. Oh my god. Okay, Raph got empanadas. He didn't wait for me to film. He just went on in. <laughs> Smart. Though. They're like really puffy. Look at that. And I'm waiting on my tacos. These are my tacos. Look at this. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, 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 wow. And then this is chipotle crema, which I'm very happy about. You guys, <laughs> the server was so sweet. And Raph told him it was my birthday. And they brought out these churros. And we have dulce de leche, which I assume is this, some kind of strawberry something, and then like Nutella or chocolate, and I'm so excited. Look at this. I cannot wait. They were so sweet. I need to go ahead and end off the vlog because I honestly don't think that I even ended the vlog for days three and four. No, four and five. Yeah, four and five. So I'm gonna end the vlog here and I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to and ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!